out of the picture. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Sabrina Santiago, and I am your instructor for Contemporary Social Problems. And I just want to give you a little bit of background about myself, but mostly orient you for the course. So I have a master's degree from in sociology from UCSD. I have actually a bit more than a master's because I was in a PhD program. This is Sage, and she's my daughter, and she's 10 years old. Hi. And, okay, now the, the course. This, this course is designed for people. It's intended for people who are very, very comfortable with computer technology. So if you are not extremely comfortable with the computer and the Internet, etc., then you should not be taking this course online. Okay, so the first thing that you should have done already is look at the syllabus. And so I sent everybody a copy of the syllabus before the semester started so you could start reading beforehand, get, you know, get a hold of the book, etc. Um, but the, the syllabus is also listed in the course. And so there's an icon there that, that shows you that you, you know, press on and you'll, the syllabus will come up. So the syllabus is the contract. It says what is expected of you in the course. That includes the grading criteria, for instance. It provides an overview of the um, modules or the information that we're going to be covering, as well as the opening dates of the modules and the closing dates of the modules. And so the way that those modules are organized actually corresponds to the chapters in the text. So, for instance, Module 1 uh, corresponds with Chapter 1, Module 2 corresponds with Chapter uh, chapter 2, etc. <clears throat> so it's actually designed so that the dates are, are structured in a way that it it allows for those people who who are at the front end of the curve, so they're 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 ahead, they're really on top of their game, and so and they want to move on. They finish one module, they want to move on and and get ahead, and or just you know finish up the course, and so 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 it opens up the modules open up a little bit earlier earlier, so that those people can get in and start the next module. Um, and then there's the people that I expect are going to be somewhere in the middle. It should be somewhere, you know, you know, I know you got work and you got other things, you know, the classes and that kind of thing. And then, but it's also, there's also time built in for those people who are lagging. And so, yeah, there's, so there's some people that are going to be sort of falling behind. And so I built in some time for in case people start falling behind. I recommend if I were the person taking the class, what I would be doing is I'd be working at the very front end uh, of when the module opens, just because you never know when there's going to be a technological issue that's going to come up. You know, those people have already taken online courses, have already experienced that. Or, um, or a personal issue. I mean, life happens. And so, so I recommend that you work at the front end of the uh, time period, the time that's allotted, because I will not be reopening up the modules for people who miss the deadlines. So it's in your best interest again, you know, build, give yourself some, some emergency time, you know. All right. <clears throat> so um, you're going to go into your, you should have already started your first module and uh, you should have already done your first quiz by now. And you should already be on your other assignments within that module. And um, those, it, it, let's see, they're mostly discussion boards. And there'll be a video or an article that goes along with, with a set of questions, um, and or one, maybe one question. And you'll answer those critical thinking questions um, Again, after reading the textbook and after watching the video or reading the additional article, um, and so then you'll you'll answer those those questions in an essay form. And so you'll see in the syllabus it tells you that those essays are 500 to 1,000 words each. And then there's also the other component where you're required to reply to two other posts. And so um, those replies are 
200 to 400 words each. Okay, so Yoko Module 1, Module 2, you know, according to the, the deadlines and the dates. Now, what else do you need to know? Um, there's a place, you already know you've taken online courses before, there's a place that keeps track of what your points are. Um, if there's any kind of description, if there's any errors, if you can't get get into um, into one of the assignments, if there's a mistake, I've made, I made an error, you want to contact me right away so that I can fix it for, you know, if it's my mistake, so I can, I can fix it uh, for you as soon as possible. Um, or if there's any, maybe on the grading criteria, if you want to understand why you got the grade that you that you got, you can contact me for that also. Um, one of the things I want you to be aware of, it's an academic course. I want you to make sure that you use proper uh, grammar, um, English conventions, etc. Right, because you, it's 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 a formal, it's a formal uh, writing assignment. Okay. What else? You, I think that's it. You have any questions, then contact me. You already know how to contact me through sociology professor uh, at sociology professor one at gmail.com. And I look forward to a fun semester. Okay, bye.